and my nephew just went to school and it's about 7.30 in the morning and I didn't sleep very much of course because for me it's kind of middle of the day but you know I'll get there for a couple of days but know that I got a home brewed coffee. So we got up this morning, we drove out to the ranch in Temecula and it's obviously under construction right now. It's not livable, but uh, in a few weeks this place will be ready to be moved into. And hopefully. We got a new slab for the driveway. This all was a garden here and uh, this is a slab. This was all part of the grass and it's all gone now. So it's become a driveway. I used to live here. I lived here for about three or four years at this property, at this ranch. A lot of the trees are bigger, <laughs> you know, but it's pretty much exactly how it used to be. Pomegranate trees. Now all new windows put in, that's nice. Oh no, that's a shame. These are my couches and they're good leather couches. Oh man. I'm really, look, look at that, oh god, I'm really bummed about that. Now that's what happens when you're gone for a couple years and, and the family goes on vacation and leaves everything behind for a couple months, these things happen, you know, it's normal. Now the kitchen is gone. <laughs> it's just completely gone. Oh, look at this. There's nothing here. <laughs> oh. This used to be a, a jacuzzi tub. Now it looks like it's gonna be a different tub. This is the truck that I'm trying to sell. Uh, <laughs> it's been sitting here for a while and I'm told it doesn't start. Charge the battery and see if I can get it running. If not, uh, Let's see what it takes. If the tires are still good, it hasn't been used for about three years. It's a Mitsubishi Montero 2000. It's got about 130,000 miles on it. I love this truck and I don't want to sell it. But I can sell it and then buy the same thing in China. A little bit more money. Take a look. Ooh, a lot of spiders. Yeah, the you know, the battery is dead. Title and registration in here somewhere else. I have to go fix the registration on this thing. I rented a 2018 Traverse. Well, I got a free upgrade. It's a bigger car than I need, but it's pretty awesome. Okay, so here's a walkabout question for you. How do you get a SIM card for your phone? I have a Chinese iPhone you know, and I use a Chinese carrier and all I want is a SIM card for like a week while I'm here because there's no service but nobody will give me a SIM card they said oh you can't do it just for a week you got to open an account you gotta like what there's no prepaid SIM cards in America so there's got to be a way around this or if anyone knows how to do it let me know I love this town. I lived here for many years. It hasn't changed very much at all, especially in the old part of town. It's a great old city. By Chinese standards, it would be considered a village. <laughs> but it's a small city here. In Famous intersection here, first in Maine, and uh, you got the bank Mexican food the bar. You got 1909, which is very, very old and has a lot of history. Rosa's Cantina, and then up the hill there is the new city hall.
Temecula is no stranger to traffic. Well, I decided because my duties are done for the day that I could go for a quick drive on my way back into Orange County on Temecula. And uh, I'm going to take the scenic loop over the hill. This area is called the Luz, and it's this rural equestrian area that uh, is kind of its own little pocket. It doesn't get any through traffic, but it is surrounded by massive traffic everywhere. Um, the reason is, is because it's like, it backs up to the marine base. So it's very, very quiet. A lot of big sprawling ranches. It's really great. Great place to go for a drive. And there's a creek called Santa Rosa Creek that goes, starts in Temecula, it goes all the way to the ocean. And you can hike along. It's great uh, equestrian trails, but it's also got great hiking and running trails, even a few swimming spots. I am going trail running while I'm here, but not here. I'm only gonna do one run, and I wanna do it in an area that supposedly burnt down. It's really cool, and then you run all the way down this river along the bankment and it's very technical and it's probably the best trail run in uh, this area this in the Santa Rosa Plateau but I used to run down that trail for hours got a right and a lefty going down there 20 we're back in the 50s, yeah. sitting around at dinner, <laughs> listening to the radio. Okay, he just got back from four, four weeks in Alaska. Four months. four months in Alaska. I just got back for four months in China. We have a new baby. The whole family's together. <laughs> five months. We're five months into a baby. 18 million people in Southern California who can't watch these games. Tell me why. <laughs> Just tell me why. This is ridiculous. Happy birthday to you. I don't have emphysema. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, and one to Dozier is over two to nine. <laughs> this is what we got, folks. Bumgarner. We're in Irvine, California, on one of the biggest game Johnson nights Fowl. ever. The giant dugout. And there's no two. Dodger game. This is the best we can do. We're blacked out. <laughs> We blacked out in Irvine. So, Dad, this is what you used to do, right? <laughs> with an AM radio. With a transistor. Yeah, yeah, with a $19.95 Happy birthday, bro. We're going vintage. This is so sad. Oh, my God. We are not worthy. 